Barack Obama was left bemused after Boris Johnson's controversial comments about the former U.S. president in a column about Brexit. The then U.S. president weighed in on the Brexit debate in the build-up to the 2016 referendum, warning that the consequences would be negative for the U.K. He said the U.K. would be at the back of the queue in any trade deal with the U.S. if the country chose to leave the EU. Mr. Obama added, this is a decision for the people of the United Kingdom to make. I'm not coming here to fix any votes. I'm not casting a vote myself. I am offering my opinion, and in democracies, everybody should want more information, not less, and you shouldn't be afraid to hear an argument being made. But Mr. Johnson, then mayor of London, attracted criticism for his column in The Sun responding to the former U.S. president. In his article, the Brexiteer said the removal of a bust of Winston Churchill from Mr. Obama's office was seen by some as a sign of an ancestral dislike of the British Empire, referring to Mr. Obama's part Kenyan ancestry. The comments were branded idiotic and deeply offensive by Mr. Churchill's grandson. Mr. Obama made clear his admiration for Britain's wartime leader in thinly veiled remarks at a press conference. He did not mention Mr. Johnson by name but said he had a bust of Mr. Churchill outside the treaty room, his private office on the second floor of his official residence. The former president said, right outside the door of the treaty room, so that I see it every day, including on weekends when I am going into that office to watch a basketball game, the primary image I see is a bust of Winston Churchill. In Ben Rhodes, speechwriter for Mr. Obama, book The World As It Is, Mr. Obama's bemused initial reaction to Mr. Johnson's article is described. According to the book, the then-president read Mr. Johnson's comments, and said, really? The black guy doesn't like the British? Rhodes, the author of the book, said that critics were more subtle back home. The conversation would have taken place as Trump was taking center stage in the presidential campaign, and it is claimed Obama responded, not really. Boris is their Trump. Mr. Johnson's comments from 2016 have also led to some expressing concerns over the prime minister's relationship with president-elect Joe Biden. The Democrats secured victory in the U.S. election this week, but will remember Mr. Johnson's comments about Mr. Obama, Sir Kim Derrick warned.